This question has to do with pizza. Let's say you have a pizza parlor that has 15 choices of toppings. Just to think of some as an example, maybe it's mushroom, pepperoni, sausage, tomatoes, anchovies, etc. So just think of 15. Let's say that we are interested in knowing the question is, how many ways can you choose three different pizza toppings from 15? So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to say you're, you're going to recognize that this is a combination. And the reason why it's a combination is because the pizza that has the mushrooms, pepperonis, and sausage is the same pizza with the sausage, pepperonis, and mushrooms. It's not a different pizza. Order doesn't matter. So when you recognize that, then you say to yourself, we need combination equals, and then you're going to write a fraction bar. Now, since we're choosing three toppings, you come up with three factorial as your denominator. And then right away, get yourself three spaces set up. Whatever the number you have here in front of the factorial symbol is how many spaces you're going to need in your numerator. Now remember, we're choosing from 15 toppings. So that's going to be 15 is the first number that we put on the space. So let's say pepperoni was that first one that we picked. Then now you have 14 to choose from. So let's say you pepperoni and sausage are now gone. Now you have... 13 to choose from. Now when you kind of rethink what 3 factorial is, remember 3 factorial, that means 3 times 2 times 1, which of course is 6. But the reason why I'm going to leave it this way is to do something called pre-reduce so that you can get your numbers more user-friendly. For example, between these two numbers, the greatest common factor between a 14 and a 2 is 2, so we're going to go ahead and divide by that number. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 14 divided by 2 is 7. And 3 happens to be a factor of both of these numbers. So we're going to divide by 3 and get 1, divide by 3 and get 5. So that's a little bit easier to simplify that. We can tell that the denominator is going to be 1, and then we can go ahead and use a calculator to figure out what the numerator is going to be. 5 times 7 times 13, and we get 455. And of course 455 divided by 1 would be 455 in simplest form. Now if we had left it as 3 factorial here and we kept this as 15 and this is 14 and we never simplified it we know that this is equal to 6. Of course, you do have the choice of just going ahead and using the bigger numbers, 15 times 14 times 13, and we get 2,730, and then you can divide that by 6, and we still get the 455. So which way you're more comfortable with is going to be the one you're going to want to go with, but I'm a fan of using numbers that are a little bit more user-friendly and smaller, so I like to do the pre-reduce option. But at any rate, it's 455 ways.